Welcome to Not Another White Box, the channel that brings you all that's cool, quirky and unusual in the caravan world. Today I'm at the NEC Caravan and Motorhome Show and we're taking a look in Hall 5 at the Mink range of caravans. Now, you've probably seen this before if you're an avid TV watcher because it was featured in an episode of Top Gear where they took um, rugged and simple caravans off-road behind electric vehicles. And we have actually briefly looked at this on the channel before, but I thought it really deserves a bit of extra time because although it seems like a simple camper and it seems like um, a very basic idea, it's actually packing a lot of really great features into something that's small, rugged, lightweight and easy to tow. Which as we know, as more people move to tow with electric vehicles, we need more things like this on the market. So I'm gonna show you today a few of the design details that make this so special. At the business end of the Mink Camper is the A-frame and it runs on a standard German Alco chassis so getting spare parts or having it serviced won't be an issue in Britain. It has a buttonless gas assisted handbrake, 13 pin electrics um, and just a standard non-stabiliser hitch which is absolutely not an issue for a caravan of this size. It's only 750 kilograms fully laden and the axle is set really far back to give it great stability. Despite this though, they've very cleverly engineered it so that the kitchen balances it out so the nose weight is actually on its own a conventional 74 kilograms, which is pretty much a standard nose weight in any British caravan on the market today. It's got a very long drawbar which obviously aids with towing and you'll also find a standard is an extra ball mounted there for um, a tow ball mounted bike rack and I've been told that you can have a full conventional bike rack fitted in its place if you wish. Moving a bit further back, we've got to talk about the shell of this caravan because it's shiny and it's smooth and it's not actually made of GRP, but instead injection molded ABS. Now this is the result of years of research and development and I'm told they Mink invested over two million pounds into this model's development. And it really shows with the exquisite level of detail on this camper. This is not a budget basic teardrop camper. This is an extremely well designed, very well built caravan. And I think you can thank the fact that it's actually from Iceland for that. So it gives me some confidence that if it can withstand a harsh winter in Iceland, it could certainly withstand anything that Britain could throw at it. So it's injection molded ABS that includes the doors and the rear boot. It's a one-piece shell and the advantage of ABS is it's strong, it's light, it's durable and it also has good thermal insulation properties. And speaking of thermal insulation, you might have noticed this tank here which isn't for water but for diesel because on board the Mink Camper as standard is a Webasto diesel heater. You might be thinking, how does that work in a tiny teardrop? Well, I have never seen anything like this before. It actually funnels the heat underneath the mattress of the bed and slowly seeps through like a heated blanket. And I'm told this system works really, really well. Again, it's not a basic teardrop camper like we're so used to seeing in this part of the world. This is something that is well designed, well thought out and well built. I know it's not for everyone. I know a lot of people won't be interested in buying this as a caravan, but it has to be commended for its level of detail and attention to detail when it comes to the design of this caravan. I'll be honest with you, I'm not used to it reviewing a caravan laid down like I'm in Hugh Hefner's mansion, but unfortunately that's just what we've got to deal with today because to talk about the interior of the Mink, there is nowhere to sit as such. It is just a bed on wheels, but what an exquisite bed on wheels it is. From the very carefully crafted real wood apertures to the doors, to this enormous stargazer roof light, which is just incredible. The thought of laying here and looking up at the stars while you're out in the wilderness camping is really at the heart of what the mink is all about. At the back, it's got this hammock, which kind of looks like a bed, but it's actually for storage. And up here on display, they've got a little coffee machine and some shoe storage and places to put your clothes. This is a theme that occurs again and again with the mink. Things don't just have a singular use and every inch of the space has been used from these carefully crafted door pockets to even the shelf at the front where the heater ducts are. You can control the heater from there, control the lights from here and even check on your battery level from the front. 
The bed is a generous size. It's four foot six wide by six foot seven long. So it's actually a really, really big bed, which puts some modern conventional caravans to shame. It's a comfortable mattress and it's actually a nice place to be in here. The windows have these funny little blinds that fasten into place that give a hint of the kind of rugged outdoorsy type of person that would like this particular caravan. That was a, a very brief tour of the interior of the Mink because, well, there's not too much to see, is there? But on the way to the back, I just want to point out another really cool little design feature are these cup holders which are incorporated into the ABS plastic wheel covers. Again, it's just more of these little details that have been really well thought out. Instead of just wasting space, Mink have made the use of every little conceivable part. Even the way that they've built in these really great grab handles, which are actually metal put into the ABS shell, just shows their commitment to quality. I'll point out while we're passing it, there is a solar panel fitted as standard to the roof. So really this camper is completely independent of needing to be on grid or on a campsite. This is probably the only thing you can buy at the show that's really gonna get you to the heart of the wilderness. Um, and after the long day of off-roading, this is just a bed to fall into. There's no setting up, there's no tent to erect, there's no bits to fold out. It is just a bed on wheels that's ready and waiting to be used as soon as you get to your camping spot for the night. And finally, at the back end of the mink, you find the kitchen. And as you can see, it's at a perfectly normal working height, which kind of is a bit unusual to process because it's just a hatch in the back of it. I'm five foot 10 and I'm not banging my head on this opening hatch at the rear. But in the boot, you've got what's at what is a very well-appointed kitchen. And again, the quality touches are abound here. This worktop that slides out is a composite which is designed to be waterproof. I'm told you could leave this in a bath of water for a year and it wouldn't change shape. It's actually very heavy. Underneath here, we've got tons of storage. Um, you've got places to put things like your washing up bowl and a cooker, which will come as part of the standard spec. You've also got this cool ice chest, which is where you can keep all your fresh produce. And once the ice melts, it will simply drain away underneath the camp caravan. Plenty of storage and cubby holes that all very neatly stores away with these clever little strings to stop things moving. Again, I'm so impressed by how much storage there is, but this attention to detail and the quality of materials used makes me think that, yes, it is £20,000, but you're getting some kind of value for money there because of how well it is built. And for someone like me who loves caravan design, that is very pleasing to see, because as we know, manufacturers are constantly on the quest to make things cheaper, lighter, lower quality, and the Mink does not compromise on any of that at all. New for 2023 is this custom Mink awning, which believe it or not, weighs just 12 kilograms when it is all folded away. It's incredibly light, very easy to assemble, and it is custom built for the caravan. You can position it on the side so you can step out of the bed straight into the space or it will fit over the rear kitchen hatch so you have um, you know, a place to sit and eat if you prefer it at the back. Inside the awning is a perfectly normal working height. You can stand up in here, there's plenty of room um, and you can sort of use the camper as a proper conventional caravan in that sense. Once you're on site and set up, you could set up in this awning which is a perfectly usable space for two people. You can see there's a chair and a table in here and there's still loads of room. It's got a built-in ground sheet. Um, it's got built-in curtains on the windows. This is really a well thought out design. And if the Mink Sports Camper 2.0 isn't enough for you, for 2023, there is this new version of it, which is called the Highlander. This is exactly the same camper, exactly the same shell and spec but it has just got a more rugged appearance. It has beefier tires, higher ground clearance, and a different color scheme. So really, if you are that outdoorsy type, this is the one to go for. And like I said, it's brand new for 2023. It makes its debut in Britain here at the NEC Caravan Show in February. We won't really go through it again, because like I said, it is exactly the same, but it just looks so stylish and ergonomically pleasing. It's got a great shape to it great design to it. 
And as someone who really appreciates caravan design, I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with how well built this is from the choice of materials through to the little details and the bits that make it so practical. It's nice to find a company like Mink that do not want to compromise on that. They are building the best product that they physically can. Yes, you're going to pay a decent amount of money for that, but that's the same with anything that's built to this level. So overall, is the Mink Camper not another white box approved? Probably comes as no surprise, absolutely yes. I love this camper. It's not personally for me, but I can appreciate the thought and the detail that has gone into it. If you are after an off-road rugged camping vehicle, this is the last word in luxury as far as that's concerned. So let me know in the comments below what you think to the Mink Camper. Perhaps you've got experience of them yourself. Let me know how it's been for you. Overall, I'm really impressed with this caravan. Thank you for watching today on Not Another White Box. Please do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this content and I'll see you again soon.